Las Vegas High Rollers Wheelchair Rugby is Southern Nevada's only nationally ranked quadriplegic rugby team. They are wheeling in the new year with the first home tournament of 2023. And Bradley Bowe was the founder and president of the High Rollers Adaptive Sports Foundation. I'm overwhelmed by a bunch of things. Quadriplegic wheelchair rugby national ranking all of that is a lot to take in, Bradley. That's incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it's quite the combination. Our team actually took second at nationals last year, so we're looking to come back wow. this year. Wow. Wow. Take the whole thing. How does wheelchair rugby work? You don't play it in. A, I, I'm imagining rugby to begin with, and that's a rough and tumble game if ever there was one. And you're, pl and you're playing it in wheelchairs. We are, yeah. We don't play on grass. I get that question a lot. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Doesn't work too well in uh, wheelchairs. We play on a basketball court with. Uh, these specialized wheelchairs uh, that we can push really fast. Um, they actually have defensive and offensive wheelchairs. And the strange thing oh. about wheelchair rugby is kind of the only similarity to rugby is the way we score and the fact that it's full contact. Wow. Other than that, it's more of a mixture of hockey and basketball and soccer in terms of the rules. And speaking yeah. of hockey, because mm -hmm. you were saying there's a tie in this. The, the league was started in Canada. Uh, well, yeah, the sport was started in Canada, yeah. I think in like the late 80s, early 90s originally, yeah. So we even have a penalty box like hockey. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And the, I mean, these chairs are built for speed. They are, yeah. This is just my everyday chair, so this isn't actually a rugby chair. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they definitely are. They're built for speed and built to keep you in there so you don't fly out when you get hit. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. So how many teams are competing for this national title? Well, I think there's uh, in the 40s or 50s in terms really? of teams nationally. Yeah, pretty much every major city has a team in the U.S. Yeah. Is that right? Mm -hmm. And it does as much for the audience watching, I understand, as it does for the players themselves. It's a fun sport to watch. It's high scoring, so that's always good. And then full contact <laughs> between metal wheelchairs and on a basketball court. Yeah. It's loud. It kind of echoes in there. So. Okay. Yeah. So uh, tell us about the tournament coming up. You're not only competing with other national teams. Mm -hmm. I want to know who your biggest uh, competitors are going to be, but you're hosting oh, okay. the tournament too. We are. Yeah, so we're hosting it here. welcome to Las Vegas. Yes, exactly. So we'll be hosting it at Doula Gym, which is kind of on the corner of Vegas Boulevard and Bonanza down there, the mm -hmm. 27th to the 29th. Our biggest rival oh, at that tournament, they're all really, really close. There's going to be really close games. If you look at the rankings, mm -hmm. we're all within one or two of each other. So, wow. Yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. So the, the, make, make it clear now, because mm -hmm. we're just coming out of, uh, out of football season here in the United States and, you know, Super Bowl and all of that. But how do you score in rugby? Mm. So you have control of the ball and then you cross into an end zone. So there is an end zone. There is. You can actually, if you knock a defensive player into your end zone, that's also another way to score. So you can okay. actually hit someone out of bounds and score. And, and you can flip people over too? You can. You want to, actually, in really? some cases. Yeah. And what happens? And then you get the ball if you flip over the guy with yeah, the ball? Yeah, if, if you flip over the ball handler, it's a turnover usually. So <laughs> You mean physically flip over? Uh-huh. Yeah, they flip over. In you guys are brutal. <laughs> no kidding. That's <laughs> idea. Serious business. <laughs> Can we demo this? Of course, yeah. Okay. Well, I want to see you You have see a you competition chair with mm -hmm. us today. I, okay. Thank you for letting me do this. I'm psyched. All right. They're a little different this, than Larry, your Larry, we hold on to this. Absolutely. I, I got, got your get, back. I got to get real here. Percent. I'm behind right. you. Trust Here me. Here we go. All right. So is this your <laughs> This your is mine, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. I have learned how to get in this properly. So this is a defensive rugby chair. Look at this. Bucket seat to begin with. Yeah. Okay. No, it keeps you in there. You're snug. Wow. Am I in here proper? You're in there perfectly. All right. Wow. Look at that. Look. Here we go. Whoa. Holy wow, moly. Look at how agile this you This thing get. turns. Wow. Look at you. All right. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> Watch out, Larry. Uh-oh. Might bump into you. This could be incredible. Oh, wow. She's oh, my gosh. Here she, oh, here she comes. Back. Honestly, I can feel. <laughs> boom. There it is. That's Got all me. right, huh? Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> that looks uh, like a load of fun, man. That is it so is. fun. It's very powerful. Like, you can feel. Now, do you wear gloves to grip oh, on you better? Oh, you have to, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would imagine so. Mostly for the stopping, actually. Yeah. yeah. You'll lose a little bit of skin if you stop too quick without gloves. <laughs> it must be fun. I mean, like any sport, when you're out there and you're competing, it must be fun, uh, you know, to hear the crowd and hear people cheer you on. Uh, what, what's your su support system like there? At the tournaments? Yeah. Um, a lot of family members and stuff of the players come out. Yep. But, yeah. And then we'll get Cub Scout troops and stuff come check it out. But yes. Every once in a while, you know, we get some random people walk into the gym, but I've never had anyone be disappointed in terms wow. of watching the sport. So, yeah. Yeah. Incredible. What inspired you to create the organization real quick? There wasn't anything out here for quadriplegics. So I'm, I'm a quad, I'm not a para, so I don't have any hand function. 
Um, and the other sports um, are designed mostly for paras. Wow. If you have a quadriplegic competing against a paraplegic, it doesn't work very well. It doesn't well, work so. very well. Yeah, and this sport is only four quads. So The Las Vegas High Rollers. Mm -hmm. Okay, Super when you score, fabulous. I know you have like a little victory move. Do you have one? Because I think I would do a circle. A uh -oh. <laughs> victory move, yeah. Is that <laughs> yours? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> JJ doing donuts. Woo! Donuts. <laughs> this is fun. Thank I you so it. much for sharing. Yeah, no, thank you for having me. Hey, good luck to you and the Thanks. team, yeah. okay? Yes, absolutely. Hey, the Vegas Vengeance Wheelchair Rugby Tournament. It is this Friday through Sunday at Doula Gym on East Bonanza. And uh, to learn more, visit highrollersfoundation.org.